So a lot of parents have had this experience. You send your kid off to college, you're proud. Dylan got into Duke. We're so happy. And then the kid comes back and hates not only you, but the country and himself. And the chances of that child having a happy, productive personal life go to about zero. That's the fruit of liberal arts in this country now. So it's a very common experience, but one mother decided to try and fix it. She sent her daughter to attend Mount Holyoke University of Massachusetts tuition over 50K a year. The child comes back totally programmed like a cult member. So the mom spends 300 bucks a day for a deep programmer to undo the brainwashing, and it worked. Annabelle Rockwell is the daughter. She graduated Mount Holyoke. She's now the development director of PragerU. She joins us. So, Annabelle, thank you so much for coming on. So, Deep Program suggests undoing unreasonable religious belief. Did, did you feel like a, like a cult member after Mount Holyoke? Tucker, thank you so much for having me. First, I'm going to say that I arrived at Mount Holyoke bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, so excited to be there in 2011, and as soon as I got there, I was told that, you know, I should refer to myself as a first year, not a freshman, because we were at Historically Women's College. I was left a note in my mailbox saying, he may be a she, she may be a he, don't assume anyone's gender, and I thought, oh, okay, like, that's new. Uh, and then the last thing was we had the moho chop, which was this ritualistic haircut that people did in the first semester where everyone would shave their head um, sort of as an act of rebellion so to answer your question yes I mean as time went on and I studied history I became completely brainwashed into believing that I was oppressed by our toxic patriarchal society and I left school I was sad anxious intellectually starving and by 2015 when I graduated I completely estranged myself from my family yeah well that's um, that is underneath it all we joke about the lunacy in college campuses, but the real cost is not that they'll vote Democrat, the real cost is that they won't love their parents anymore. And that's that's the most upsetting part of it, I think. So how did you get better? So in this panic of me not communicating with my mother, she consulted a cult specialist. Uh, this person gave her devastating statistics that most people don't make it out, but a glimmer of hope that it tends to be young women who do. So she spoke to him and he made it very clear to her, do not affirm your daughter's newfound identity. You know her best. She is your child. Don't affirm yes. her. Yes. So she was taught how to communicate with me. Now, to actually be deprogrammed, I had to humble myself. A couple things, I reconnected with my family. I moved home, I asked for forgiveness, I admitted I was wrong. Secondly, I made a lifestyle change. I stopped drinking, I started to believe in God again. And lastly, I had to unlearn my four years of wokeism by watching five minute PragerU videos on, online for free. <laughs> Amazing, it is a cult. Its aim is to separate you from the people who love you most, and I just, I, I'm, I'm so impressed and have such respect for your mother for taking it as seriously as it deserves to be taken, and for you for getting out of it. Annabelle Rockwell of PragerU, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having me.